Hey everyone, see the three factory here. Well, as far as, as much as you can tell, I'm on um Linux Zero. Um now I'll pass for this thing in my Linux for the reason that I'm about to say. I have a PS3 and the PS3's been acting weird lately. Um, I think m either my power supply in my PS3 is about to go, or my main board is about to go, but I think one of them is about to go. But, um, what it is, is that since that's going, I use my, um, PS3 to connected to my TV I use through HDMI to watch like Netflix and YouTube and all that well with the problems occurring I can't really watch YouTube I mean Netflix um I mean it's working now um I don't know if you can hear it but that clicking That is, um, that is my PS3. Um, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, and like I said, I use, I use my PS3 to watch like YouTube and Netflix and all that. Well, sometimes when it doesn't work, I need something to watch Netflix and all that on, so I use my computer. The only problem with that is that my computer, my computer is, uh, um, an AM, same, see my PS3 just went off by itself again. So, you know, things like that is making me why I need to go Linux, because Windows and this computer doesn't really work that well when I'm trying to watch Netflix and all that. Um, the reason why, I think the reason why it doesn't is because the process in this computer, this is only an Asus, it's an Asus X55U, but it's a 1 gigahertz model. But it does have 4 gigs of RAM. So, I mean, that doesn't really bother me. I mean, it does run pretty well. Um, and as you guys can see right here, I am screen recording. So, as you guys can see, my both my CPUs are being used. But I'm only using seven, between like 700 and 700 between 700 and 715 megabytes per s megabytes out of 4 gigs. So I mean the, having one cord doesn't really bother me. Um, it would be nice to have a m more, I mean, faster processor. But it doesn't really bother me. Um, so yeah. Um, but by the way, let me show you a rundown of, um, the Manjara I'm on, I'm on a, um, Manjara found on Distro Hunt, um, it's like that Manjara revamped, um, uh, it's that Manjara revamped one, I can't figure out what it's called, um, I, if you go under, um, project, project search, go to art, and you'll find it, it's like, Hang on, I still have that on my flash drive, so it'll probably tell me the name. I hope it does. Yeah, as you can see right here. M-P-O-V Vamp. Um, it's basically Manjaro Revamp, I guess. Um, it's really nice. Um, it did not come like this by default at all. Um, but this is how I like to run Linux. Um, by the way, I need to change these bars real quick, so yeah. Um, 
but this is how I like to run Linux. Um, I think that it's better, in my opinion, um, to run Linux like this. I don't know what it is. I just like, I just like to run Linux like exactly like this. Um, yeah, this like I said. Hang on, let me. They will get that better. Um, but yeah, all that this comes with is a demo at the top. Um, now it does come with the clock, just the clock, but I changed that and I got the date and time. Um, it doesn't come with that one, so you have to go into the, um, you have to download it. Um, it's in the, um, Pac-Man, it's in, um, Pamic, so yeah, you have no problem finding that. Come on. Um, battery. Um, power management. Um, especially if you're on the laptop. Um, the terminal, the drop-down terminal. Um, simple screen recorder, because I am screen recording, but this comes with simple screen recorder out of the box. I really like that, because I use it a lot. Um, PAMIC. Um, sound applet. Can't remember the name offhand. Pulse audio, my bad. Um, the network manager. Window buttons are right here. There was a um, thing of all programs that you use right here, but I moved it to right here. I don't know what it is, but I like it better. I like it better on the side. Um, I, that's m like a Unity type thing. Um, but the thing I like about um, XFE better than Unity is that you can customize it. You can add more bars. Um, so I got all this right here, the whisker menu right there. Um, I added this panel, uh, oh, and it also comes with a more, this little key cat right here. Um, flat cell windows to the desktop I added, trash applet I added, um, you know, the swap, my memory usage, my sensors, my CPU graph, um, which I told it to not include the, hang on, I thought I told him not to, there we go, um, so, I got my system, my usage, like how much I'm using on my CPU, my sensors, my memory, and my swap. Um, so yeah, um, some of the programs that this came with I did delete because I don't use them, but some I kept. Um, Amor, I decided to keep Amor. Um, it, you know. He's a nice little kitty to have on your desktop. Scratches, plays around on the win on the desktop. Really nice. Chromium, um, I, you, I don't like Firefox, but I didn't feel like building Chrome. It takes too damn long. So I just decided to download Chromium on myself to get Pepper Flash. So I can watch Flash type stuff. Um, this comes with the gnome this comes in Dell Woods, which is good because I use that a lot. Um, this comes with the GNOME Disk Utility. Um, now this did come with some games, but I guess I get rid of them because, yeah, I don't do games a lot. Um, so, so I did those out because I don't really game that much. Um, g it all this, all, um, all the Manjaro comes with that. Um, Grub Customizer, which was really nice. I'm glad he included that. GUVC View, 
again was in here when I got it. It was good. Um, my uninstalled cheese because I like GVC better. Um, it includes H Top, which is awesome because I use that a lot. Media info again, really good. Mumble, great. It came with it, um, which I'm glad about that one. Um, Pigeon, they still have to uninstall. Um, yeah, um, it, like I said, it came with Simple Screen Recorder and also the SUSE Image Writer. Um, but yeah, actually, let me uninstall Pigeon right now. But, yeah, I mean, I really like it. Um, I really like it. It's, it is a good respin. It really is. Um, whoever made this, they did a really great job on it. Um, I really like it. Um, yeah, um, but anyway, that's why I'm on Linux. Um, I'll possibly be staying on Linux because of these reasons. Um, but yeah, y'all take care, and I'll see you in my next one. Alright, peace.